Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Minecraft Modded with myself, Lewis. I hope you're all brilliant and very well. We are finally out of the Twilight Forest. Everything is uh, doing pretty good. And it turns out I was having the biggest blonde moment ever in the last episode because we actually had some slimes in our mob drops chest. Of all places, it would be in the mob drops chest. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh... I was having one of those days. So we're going to go ahead and finally finish off this guy. We're going to make all our magma creams. I think we're going to pop you in there. It's probably going to get night time soon, so we're going to have to be a little bit wary of that. It's all right. We're quite safe in here, but I just don't like working when it's dark outside. You know, you need your sleep. So what have we got? We've got all our never brick. We've got our soul sand that we need, and we've got our magma cream. So let's go ahead and see if this is all the stuff that we need to make this guy. So we need some of the blast furnace bricks to make it. Here we go. So, blast furnace bricks. There we go. We can make them infernal brick. Nice. All right, so we'll put you in there. Uh, we're going to keep it on pulse because I only need a certain amount of these. So we'll take you and you and you and you. So that's 20. I believe we need 34, I believe. It's 36. That should do it. All right, so where are we going to place this guy down? It's probably going to be in here, I think. Yeah, why not? Alright, so let's lay this guy down, shall we? So we'll have a base layer here like this. A three. There we go. And we're going to go two up. There we go. And we will place one more layer on top. And voila, there we go. One very nice blast furnace. Lovely jubbly. So now we can start making the steel that we need. So to make steel, we need to put iron in there. And we can use one of two things. So we can either use charcoal or we can use cold coke. I think I'm going to use cold coke because we have a nicer backlog of it just here from our cold coke oven. Which is really why you want to be getting the cold coke oven going very very soon early game one because obviously it produces a lot more energy and secondly it's good for doing all this sort of stuff so we're going to pop them in there each piece does take some time so it's something you just kind of need to leave doing but that will eventually give us all the stuff that we need in here to to, to work which is brilliant now i did want to uh expand this guy a little bit because i keep getting this full so let's just quickly go ahead and make another chest uh, let's go and make... Have I got a spare chest? I might actually have a spare chest. Probably got a spare chest somewhere. Everyone has a spare chest. And we got our Receptor of the Twilight. Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't actually look like I have a spare chest. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll make a chest very quickly. Where is my minium stone? There you are. Let's make a chest. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. There we go. One chest. Very nice. And we're going to... Uh, what are we going to do? We are going to turn him into a iron chest. Just so we have a nice bit more size in there. There we go. Can hold all the good things. And do I want to upgrade him to a gold chest? I might want to, but we haven't got much gold at the minute. How much can we hold in an iron chest? We can hold a fair decent amount. So let's plonk you down here like this. And I want to grab some piping so we can move all of our items out of there. Because we're just getting a horrible backlog so let's take a wooden transport pipe and some cobble like that and we're going to pop these guys down here next to this guy there we go bam and our cobble transport pipe bam there we go lovely so we need a way of powering this guy wow i never realized that it was all funky looking in there nice we need a way of uh, powering our wooden transport pipe so that we can get all of the items out of there. And I am 100% tired of making the redstone engines. So what I think we're going to go ahead and do today is going to be, we're going to make a table of some sort. Let's have a gander. This guy right here, an assembly table. So we need a few things. We need some diamond gears. We need diamonds and we need redstone. So it's going to be quite intensive. We're probably going to use up all our stuff here. But our turtle's going to do quite a bit. And to be honest, I need to go and do some mining as it is anyway. Because I've been neglecting it. Been neglecting the mining. And everyone knows what happens when you neglect the mining. You get poor. And no one likes being poor. Especially not me. So let's go ahead and make one of these guys, shall we? So we need a diamond gear. Which means we need the ute. And we need ute. And we need you. I should probably do this myself. I can probably do this myself. 
Yeah. We've got any wood? I think we have. There we go. Alright, let's put you in here and grab myself some sticks. I'll probably need a few of these, so I'll throw you in there. I'm going to throw you guys in there. Don't want to throw my minium stone in there. Just you sticks. There we go. That's going to give us some of you guys. I'll do it by hand. It's easier. There we go. So we've got you. Now we need some cobblestone, which I'm pretty sure we have absolutely tons of it in here. Yeah, we do. Some cobble. And we'll pop you in there with our cobble. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Giving us a stone gear. Now we need an iron gear. Come here. There we go. One iron gear coming right up. There we go. Very nice. And a gold gear. All the stuff needs to be spent to do this guy. There we go. One gold gear. And now we need a diamond gear, which means we need to spend some of these guys to make it. So we'll take you and you and you. There we go. So that'll do that. And I think we're probably going to need more diamonds as well. So we'll take you and we'll pop you around the sides. But bam, ba bam, giving us one diamond gear. Very nice. And what else do we need? We need just one spare diamond in the middle. That's all right. We can go ahead and do that. We'll make one more diamond out of our gold. And before you know it, when I pick this guy up, <laughs> we're going to have ourselves a assembly table. Very nice. So I'll put you in there. We'll put you in there. We've got a bit of redstone. We've got obsidian. Bam. One assembly table. Very nice. So these guys need to be powered by Minecraft jewels. And they do need a couple of other things for them to work. We need to get some lasers. Oh, yeah. Let's have a gander. There we go. We need these guys. Lasers. So we need, wow, we need even more diamonds for these guys. This guy, this is going to proper strap me out. So we need obsidian, redstone, and diamonds. All right, how many more can we make? So we need two for each one. So uh, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Well, that's three, isn't it? There we go. That'll do. All right, no more. No more. I just don't want to do any more. Okay, right, lasers. One, two, three. There we go. All the lasers. So let's figure out on a place we want to put this guy. I kind of want it close to where all my redstone contraptions are already. So we could place it here and have the lasers coming off the wall. I guess that's one way of doing it, and then have the piping running up through the back. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would do it. I don't know if it will work. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll pop you there. We'll put the lasers like that. That should come down onto it. And now we can power all behind it. Oh, I should have placed those a little bit to the side, actually. Otherwise, we're going to see there. Hmm. Let's get rid of you. See if we can do it there. I don't know if that's going to obstruct it in any way. It might do. If not, I can put it one across, but I don't know if it's going to reach. Let's grab some red piping. Some redstone energy at conduits. And I think we might have a little sleep. Nah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, wow, we're gonna be brave and we're not gonna sleep. We're gonna be so cool. So, let's try and figure out where all of this is. So our piping goes along there and this is where this comes in. So, as far as I'm aware, it should be here. Why is it attacking me? I'm getting attacked by something. Wow, I got poison. Did I get attacked by a ray? I did. Come here, Mr. Ray. Time for you to go to sleep. There we go. Oh, you spawned a baby, Ray. <laughs> right, so, we need to be uh, here, I believe. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. All right, and the next one should be... Hmm. Well, the next one we can go and plan ourselves anyway, so we can probably go in there and do that. Let's bring you down a little bit and bring you along. There we go. We've got some power going in there. Oh, I'm getting attacked by manta rays again. Rays. Rays everywhere. All jellyfish as well. Jeez. The water's a bad place. Um, oh, maybe we don't need to power this guy. All right. Fair enough. If it's not going to accept power, then that's cool. All right. It looks like we only need to power the lasers. Well, that's all right. I can just do the lasers. Let's grab our uh, guys. Here we go. Take you back, and then we'll go around to the lasers. There we go. Brilliant. 
All right, let's get back upstairs because I think trying to do it this way in the water just is not going to work. If we get rid of the blocks first, then we can do it that way. That probably is a much better way of doing it. So let's take you down and you and you. We'll go in here like this. There we go. And we'll put some of you in here, the conduits. Like that. And let's plug you guys in. Do you, yeah, you do it automatically. Good times. There we go. Now if we go back out, we should be able to wire it all up. And it should work perfectly fine. There we go. There's our conduits. Alright. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Alright. This is it. Oh, trying to do this in water is the worst thing. Alright. We want it to be there. Oh. 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 Come on. There we go. Alright, so you can go down there. You can come down here. Uh, we want it to connect to this one, don't we? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Place you like that. Place you like that. Bring you along a little bit. Bring you along a little bit. Have I got water breathing on my stuff? We're about to find out. <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, I have. Good times. Alright, so let's finish this guy up. So place you there, and you there. There we go. Brilliant. Alright, so let's see if this guy is going to work. So we need to make, or what I want to make, is some uh, some autarkic gates. And these guys are very cool. They can they, they basically work in a uh, if-and-then statement um, way of working. Some very good England I've got there. So, uh, let's have a gander. So we can access this guy. Um, zero Minecraft jewels required. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you doing that? I thought you didn't need Minecraft jewels. Does he still require Minecraft jewels? Pretty sure we tried to feed them in there. Let's have a look. No, it's definitely not connecting. Unless it needs to go into the side, but I don't think it does. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's give it a try. Alright, let's have a look. So, I'll target gates. Oh, we'll just type in gate. There we go. So these are the guys that we want. We want you. So we need a regular gate, which is a chipset, which is a piece of redstone gives us a chipset. All right, let's go grab a piece of redstone and see if this guy is going to work. Wow, we are so low on redstone as well. There we go. Yep, yeah, there we go. Working perfectly fine. Nice. So he doesn't need to be powered. Cool. So they're going to go ahead and do that. Now, if you have more lasers on there, then obviously this is going to do it a lot quicker. I would suggest the minimum amount of lasers is probably free. If you have any less, then it's just going to be like horrifically slow. Um, but except for that, yeah, free. Free seems to do it. Free seems to do it all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of my chipsets together. Let's see if we've got any steel as well. Yeah, nice. We've got some steel. Wicked. So now we can actually go ahead and make our mining laser as well for the win. So I'm going to go ahead and let my uh, redstone thingamabob do all of the, uh, making all the chipsets for me. And then uh, we'll be right back to make our old target gate. And I think we'll finish off by making a very nice drill as well. And then the next episode we can finally crack on uh, ditching these guys, all of the, all of the turtles, and working our way onto some quarrying. Because I love turtles, but quarrying is just better. There we go. Pop. Nice. Actually, we should really put a chest next to it. Oh, well, we'll do that in a bit. I'll be right back once I've got all the bits I need. All right, so this guy is almost finished doing its thing. I've got myself some pulsating chipsets, the regular gate that we've got, and we're currently making this guy here the iron redstone chipset. Very nice. With these three things, we can then combine them together to make the Altarkit gate, which is a very cool gate indeed. Now, we do have enough of the steel to go ahead and do the things that we need. We've actually got through it pretty quickly. I've got three bits here. There's four, and I've got more in my chest. So I'm going to throw these guys into my plate bending machine, just like this. And these are going to give us some very nice steel plates. Let's just go grab the rest that I had. Uh, we had a few in here. There we go. We'll throw another three in there. Cool beans. Right, so we'll throw you in here. And this should give us the rest of the bits that we need. There we go. So the drill that we need. Ba bam ba bam Is you. And we need a circuit. As always, a circuit. <laughs> and an RE battery. All right. And I think this guy is almost finished doing what he was doing. Yeah, he has. So we'll take you. I just need one of you. Throw you all in here like that. And bam, you can do that thing. So let's go grab some of the bits that we need. We need you. There we go. I only need one of you. 
We need some tin for a battery. There we go. And I had a little bit more redstone in here, luckily. There we go. And we need one of you. Cool. All right, let's make this guy, shall we? So tin, a bit of redstone, and a cable gives us an RE battery. Very nice. And you can go back in there like that, because that's what you do. Now, we should have a nice amount of the steel plates that we need. Uh, what else do we need to do this? That is pretty much it. All right, let's give this a go. So there we go. There's you. Nice. One mining drill. Oh, yeah. Let's get this guy powered up. Ba bam, ba bam. Can hold a very nice 10,000 EU. Cool. All right. So we're finally starting to get a little bit somewhere, I guess. Uh, if you guys don't know what the mining drill is, it's a very simple handheld device that allows you to drill through pretty much anything at a, uh, at a decent speed, which is very nice. Let's go try it on the rock over here. Pretty sure you guys already know what a uh, mining drill is, but hey, it's good. It works and it runs off EU, which is great because that's pretty much renewable in a very nice fashion. But we don't actually want the drill for this. We want to make it into a quarry, which means we're going to need a few more things to do that. I'm going to need more diamonds or gold. Uh, whichever way we do it so I can get the diamonds to turn it into a diamond drill and there we go one our target gate very very nice so while my turtle is doing all his things you can see that we're filling up here so let's go ahead and attach this guy onto here and we're going to tell it that let's have a gander what we can choose let's say items in inventory energy pulse so this guy is going to work just like your regular redstone engine in that it's going to pulsate as there's items in there. It's basically a if and then output. So if there is items, then energy pulse. And there's many different ways you can do this. It does interact nicely with the other mod items as well. So it actually interacts with forestry things. It interacts with a whole lot of them, which is very nice. So uh, the statements that you get on here, these guys here, uh, not the same for everything. So have a vary around of it, have a play with it, and uh, you'll get some pretty decent things it's kind of like the apris pipe and how it works that obviously if there's bees then it'll go in this direction or whatnot um, but it's the uh, it's the build craft way of doing it which is very nice so he's going to go and take all of these items out of here and throw them into our chest so that way we're not going to be full up and our turtle can carry on doing all of his work for some reason i have a gate that's kind of stuck in the wall and uh, that's not actually there because i only got one but for some reason i've got a uh, got a spare one just sitting there in the wall that i can never have <laughs> And we've got more of our steel. Beautiful, beautiful times. Alright you guys, so we're going to leave this episode here. I'm going to go do a bit more mining, I think. Uh, definitely need some more diamonds before we can carry on. And then we're going to crack on with making our quarry. It's going to be a beast. And I haven't decided what I'm going to use to power it yet. I could just go simple, plonk a tesseract on here. Uh, plonk a tesseract at the quarry end and uh, bam. We have a quarry running at a very decent speed. These guys are very good. They put out a decent amount of power. Uh, at the minute, they're completely full, so they're not really putting anything out. So I should really turn them off like that. But that would probably do enough for it. Um, I'm not really sure. I might want to change it up a little bit. Maybe go with some forestry power. I do like forestry power. I had a quarry before running on uh, biogas. And that, gu that guy kind of ran like a charm. And it actually seems to last for a long time as well. So we might go into that or look at different ways of doing it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you soon for another one. Have a good one. And goodbye.